Hello, I'm Red Eyes, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 11 of the second series of my Minecraft Let's Play. And yeah, I know it's been a seriously long time. I've just been much more busy with work uh, than I thought it would be, and there was a heat wave during my time off, and uh, my time off was not as long as I thought it would be. And I always knew September was going to be really full on, and uh, it was. But that is all over now, and I can get back into Minecraft, which is great. So I haven't watched any videos for quite a while, I have no idea what's been going on. So this video is kind of a warm-up video, um, which is to get back into recording, and that way you know, I can start to catch up on vids while it's uploading, and get back onto Hermitcraft, and um, yeah, so much to do. Um, <laughs> so much to do, in fact, that I wasn't too sure what to do this episode. Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, enjoy! Okay, so here we are again in the LP world. Because it's been so long since we've been in the LP world here, uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look around at some of the changes. I've done some, you know, preparation work here and there, just digging out, uh, like, around some spider spawners I found down there. And uh, starting to set up the rail to bring villagers from over there. But uh, we'll look at those some other time. For now, we'll just concentrate on the stuff around here. So, uh, first thing you notice is, of course, this XP tower. And this XP tower is connected to the mob trap down below there. The next big change, really, is the counters over there. Yep, uh, started putting the counters for the scoreboard. And that was quite a while ago and they've broken so I put them in in 1.25 I think and then they broke in 1.3 uh, they were designed by cube hamster and in a way I guess I'm glad I didn't install them all because um, yeah they're a bit broken at the moment but they're his smallest seven segment uh, display design using piston tapes and I can't really demonstrate them because they're broken but the space is there to uh, add all the new ones when everything gets repaired. And I haven't even checked if he's got a fix for that, actually. So the next thing I did was the wheat growth display monitor up there. So this is a 5x5 five five, three segment display connected to the wheat farm over there. And it was designed by Blind Orion. He kind of uh, designed all the wiring there. And I did all the cart stuff here. So this cart thing here is connected to the wheat farm, which is over there. And on the way to the wheat farm, there is a, another wheat farm I started working on. But this will probably become a potato or a carrot farm, I guess. I think they're sort of the same as wheat. But it's kind of a... Uh, I, I don't know, I'll get into it some other time. <laughs> here at the original wheat farm with the growth counters, I added some more cart stuff down at the bottom there. And uh, some redstone below there, but I'll go into that in more detail soon. I did some small design changes around the enchanting area here. So now the workings are exposed and you can see how the pistons retract to uh, allow more water to flow out. And uh, yeah, you get a better look at the workings down there as well. But uh, for the roof here, I was just, you know, trying to plant some trees to see how that looked. I think it looks okay, but it is still a bit messy, so... Oh yeah, and there's a random Batman symbol in the floor, too. <laughs> uh, over here, I started digging out an area for a storage room. So I want to have storage carts coming in in the corner here, and then where this dirt here is, uh, that'll be chests, and you can see there's a chest there, and one down there. So from this central area, you'll be able to reach the uh, storage carts and all the chests around. And um, I'm actually going to move my chests over here very soon because I'm running out of room up there and I want to start designing the main area. And uh, yeah, this little hut is in the way. The hut with all my chests in it. <laughs> so that will be kind of annoying to move, but it's got to be done sooner or later. Uh, you probably noticed this expanding stairway, and that was just an idea of how to keep the farm animals, which are going to be roaming wild down here. Uh, I don't want to keep them, or I don't want to allow them to go up to the top area there. 
So I figured if I had some sort of extending staircase, uh, that might keep them out. And the only way to get up is to sort of go towards it full speed. Oh, hold on, I'll show you again. Or if you walked directly towards it, you can go up. And if you run up, you can obviously make it up. And uh, the idea, or the thinking behind that, is the animals are rarely going to be going in a straight line for very long. So they kind of walk a bit and then stop, and then walk again, you know. They just kind of stand around most of the time. Like that guy there. Yeah, I think he'll be too slow to make it up before the uh, stairs extend. And all that is is simply um, some redstone going into a repeater, and then some more repeaters here feeding into torches going up into all these pistons here. Uh, get a better view from this side, actually. Yeah, there you go. So the pressure plates are above this redstone here. And then a repeater, into some more repeaters, and uh, up through a whole bunch of torches. And, um, yeah, so all these pistons get powered at the same time. So there's one of these stairs here, and then there's another one here which is slightly different. But uh, it does the same thing. So, uh, you'll notice around this corner here there's some water, and I took out the sort of uh, pyramid shaped stairs there were and made something a little bit more pleasing to the eye I think and yeah it's sort of hard to get a full view but there's some you know water there uh, flowers fence again to keep the mobs out and one really nice thing about this oh actually there's a bridge on this side going down to the tree farm area here which is slightly wider uh, waterfall here, you know, this rail line here is going to go down to the slime farm, uh, which I still haven't dug out yet, but I have got the rail line hooked up, or not hooked up, but it's just sort of, uh, well, I guess it is hooked up. <laughs> it's going all the way down. Yeah, it's pretty much hooked up. I just need to add a, uh, a little station at the bottom. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice corner. But the best part about this corner isn't um, looking at it, it's jumping off of it. And that's because there's some water down there. And when you land in the water, uh, yeah, you don't take any damage and you keep up your speed. So that's pretty cool. So jump off the edge, land in the water, keep on going at full speed. Uh, of course that happens if you land on normal land, or like just jump off onto hard ground. But um, with the water, you don't take damage. Yeah, Foiled by my own design. <laughs> there we go. And here we are back at the mob tower. So, um, what's happening here is just like all the XP farms, you know, the mobs are taken up. I believe it's 23 blocks where they get pushed over the edge. Um, there's, you know, no water going right to the edge, so that way the damage is, in theory, more consistent. Although many mobs do seem to die falling off anyways. I'm not going to keep this tower here for long because it's really annoying to me. Like, it just... It's just the time it takes for the mobs to swim all the way up. Like, you can see that creeper there. And uh, having them in full view means that, you know, I'm less likely to just leave them. So I'm more likely to wait for them to get all the way to the top. And by that time, some more will be coming up. So I just end up waiting around forever for all the mobs to uh, go up. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to put a sort of crushing system here. And, um, I don't know. I'll figure all that out once this hut here has been removed. There you can see a creeper just died. So yeah, there's a little um, safety piston here, just so they can't see me, and I can get through and hit them if I want to, and I can put it into kill mode here by um, lowering that piston there. Oh, and uh, allowing mobs to glitch out. <laughs> 
Okay, I just accidentally killed all the mobs while I wasn't recording. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for them to build up a bit. There, you just saw another one die. And I have a feeling, actually, they're drowning on the way up. So I think I need to add a sign uh, somewhere just down there. And that way they should hopefully uh, all stay alive instead of falling off and then dying. But I'm going to wait for a whole bunch to build up and then show you how I've been killing them. Okay, there's only about 50 in there, but um, yeah, that should do. So instead of killing them by hitting them, what I've been doing is um, what I was told not to do in the past, but I thought I'd try it anyways, <laughs> throwing potions at them. So I don't know if this is commonplace now or not. Uh, I haven't really watched any videos recently, but anyways, here you go. Health potion to take care of the zombies and skeletons and then a damage potion for the creepers. And the only thing I find out really is that you don't want to throw the health potion too close or the creepers will uh, regain too much health. So, uh, health potion and damage potion and that is it. I can get my XP. And all the way up to level 30. Oh nice. So. Uh, what am I going to enchant? Hmm. Yeah, so I've got uh, helmets, boots, um, so I got a good sword, I'm starting to get some good bows. I really... Oh yeah, I want a better bow though, so I'm going to try another bow, even though I've got a lot. And probably should do some armor. Uh, I'm going to go for bow. And this time I'll try a slightly lower level, like I seem to remember, um, I can't remember what level you were supposed to do it at exactly, but it was below 30, maybe 28, something like that. Okay, um, try that. Alright, that's far too low. <laughs> so this whole system isn't working out too well. Uh, not anymore anyways. Okay, I guess I'll have to put down a torch there, maybe. And try again. 24. Hmm. Maybe if I take the water away. And then put one torch there. And then try and enchant. 26. Uh, I'll try that. Okay, obviously that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> But if you know the correct level I should be enchanting my bows at, then do let me know, because I do want to get some good ones. Uh, infinity, more fire aspect ones. Yeah. So I think what I'll do now is I'll let some more mobs build up, and to stay in the area I will move all my chests here. So I'm going to move them down to the uh, area here and uh, make some chests and yeah just get it moved yeah so get all this out of the way and then i'll be able to envision my uh, my house what it's going to look like the main area here um hmm so this could take a while
Okay, got it all cleared out. Uh, got most of the chests taken over there. It took a lot longer than I'd expected. I'm not going to move any of the mob stuff yet because, um, yeah, I don't know where to put it. Um, I don't really have enough chests. I don't think I thought this idea through enough. Didn't really count anything up or anything like that. So I already had to add two chests here. Uh, they just have sort of junk in them at the moment. But yeah, because I want to be able to reach everything at the same time. I don't know, the main idea is just to get everything out of the way for now. Anyways, there's been a bunch of mobs building up. I think it's sort of uh, around 65 now. It seems to have constantly been around that, so maybe I would need spiders and other mobs to get it up to 85. So I'm going to show you what happens if you throw the health potion too close. So if I throw it there, it will kill all the zombies and skeletons, but then the damage potion doesn't have enough power. And I don't know how many hits these guys are going to be at. Uh, one, one there, one there. So, yeah, I'll probably just kill these guys with this shovel. <laughs> Since I don't think there will be many there. Yeah, only 13. And lots of nice gunpowder. And it's finally time. Oh yes, the time has come to get rid of a hut. So, uh, yeah, I've been here for quite a while, so it's going to be sentimental, I think. Okay, so that is uh, looking a lot cleaner now. A uh, nice blank canvas to plan out how this main house is going to be. And I think what there's going to be in this area, there's going to be some mob stuff here. Uh, I don't know if I'll add any separation stuff here. I don't know if it's worth it, but I do want to get rid of this tower at least and add some crushing stuff. And um, yeah, so I'll probably do that. Not too soon. There are some other things I want to do first. I want to uh, uh, spend some time explaining the uh, wheat farm display thing. I know I didn't go into any detail about that, or anything else for that matter. <laughs> and yeah, I want to maybe uh, work on this uh, storage room area a bit. Like you can see, I did spend some time trying to work out some of the cart stuff back here. Um, sort of hard to show what's going on, but all it's doing is allowing two different ways to send the minecarts out. So you can either send them out uh, with one button or the other button, and they'll head off in different directions. And also, I definitely want to get rid of all this stone brick. Uh, it's very boring, so I have to make this place look nice. And I might even move these chests and make them a little bit more um, closer in. Like if I move uh, these over one block, I could just have one chest next to where the button is here. Could have a chest there, and uh, then they'd be a little bit more accessible. And this wall here, I could bring it in one block. Or something like that. I don't know. I'll think about it. But um, because I spent some time doing strip mining, I have all this redstone here. So I really want to make use of that somehow, and I have a few ideas. I want to put in a day and night sensor. I don't know if I'll work on the counters just yet. I have to do some research and see if there's any uh, fixes for the ones I installed. Or just uh, talk to Cube Hamster and find out. But really, I think that's about it for this episode. I'm just going to keep it short so I can upload it a bit quicker. Uh, it's actually taken me a while to make because I haven't made any videos in so long. Uh, yeah, it's been sort of uh, challenging, and uh, yeah, I figure this will just be a warm-up video, so I do believe that will um, probably do for now. So, thanks for watching, 
and uh, expect some new videos soon. I'll probably have a Hermitcraft video next. I haven't uh, been in touch with them yet. I've just been concentrating on getting this one LP episode out. Um, haven't watched any Minecraft videos in like a month, and I'm worried that as soon as I start watching them, because uh, there's so many, uh, it'll just be never ending. So I'll probably catch up with a bunch of videos, get a bunch of mining done here and there, that kind of thing, stock up on supplies, and maybe mess about with a few designs for, uh, I don't know, making stuff look good around here. Just figuring out what the building is going to be. But yeah, I think that's about it for now. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And just to finish, I'm going to enchant one more bow. I uh, found if you put a torch there and there, then you'll get to level 28. And that's with bookshelves all the way around, so... Uh, here we go, 28! Oh yes! Uh, okay, they're not all the most powerful enchants, I don't think, but uh, it's awesome. Infinity, Flame, Punch, Power, PIFP... I don't know. Sweet. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoops. I didn't bring any arrows at all. <laughs> I think I need at least one, so I've got to kill that uh, skeleton there. May as well get this creeper first. Get the skeleton, hopefully get an arrow. Oh yes, infinity. Punch, flame. Awesome. <laughs> oh, punch two would have been good. But that is pretty sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and the Ender Pearl. <laughs>